All right, so you want to put a ham radio, a GMRS radio, maybe even a CB in your vehicle. Mama says, no, you're not going to drill any holes in my car. <laughs> I'm going to show you a way, a real fast, quick way to install a radio in the car without scratching it, without drilling one hole. Alrighty, as far as installation goes for this entire job, this is what you see is what you get right here. On the left hand side, there's our radio. It's a TH9800D. That is a dual band uh, radio. It's UHF and VHF combo. Uh, below it is our cup holder mount. This is what's going to make this installation so easy and uh, no drilling holes. Uh uh. It's a simple thing that you just turn this knob right here. It makes these jaws go out, makes the jaws go in so that you're able to tighten it up in the cup holder. It'll sit just like this and you could adjust that radio to fit your vehicle. So pretty simple. Great idea. Got the microphone here that come with the radio power. This power right here. The only thing that didn't come with the radio was this end right here. And uh, the reason why is because, you know, they don't really know how you're going to install your radio. So uh, it's just bare wires that come on the end. So this piece right here, I had to buy that extra, crimp it on. That's all I had to do. So that was pretty simple. I'll put it in the description below everything that you see here, including this right here. So you'll know exactly what to do. Uh, as far as the antenna goes, here you go. UHF, VHF combo antenna mag mount. I like a mag mount because I don't like to drill holes in the vehicle. It's got a nice rubbery base to it, about three inches wide. So if you're going 90 miles down the road, although you shouldn't be going 90 miles down the road, but if you were, uh, it's not going to blow off. Got a nice length of cord here. This may be enough for some vehicles. Some vehicles you'll have to put a, a barrel in the middle of it and add a piece of cable to it to get all the way to the front of the vehicle. Now, as far as tools go, all you're going to need is uh, some nippers because we're going to use a couple of tie straps and I'm going to show you where we're going to use these that just helps in the installation. Alrighty, I like to work from antenna to radio. So let's install this first. Probably the one of the easiest parts of the install because all you have to do is just stick it on the car right where you want it. Right there. And get it down between the little hatch back here. All right, once we get inside this uh, hatchback area here, one of the biggest things that I have learned through the years, and I've seen people make this mistake many, many times, and that's coming into the vehicle. A lot of times they, they won't even go around this shock right here. They'll just come across the top and uh, just basically just come into the vehicle like that. And then when it rains, here comes the water trickling down your coax right into the vehicle and flooding your vehicle out and you don't even know it. You don't even know what's going on, but it does happen. Trust me, I've seen that happen before. I've seen people do that. And it's like, oh, you gotta put a drip loop anytime you're coming from the outside in, whether it's on a wall, a vehicle, it doesn't matter. You gotta put a drip loop on there. So one of the best ways that I found to remedy that is to come around the shock and come back to the cable itself, put a tie wrap on it, and uh, give yourself a little bit of a, a slack loop there. Tighten it up, get your nippers, cut it off like so, and then here you go. Now it's, it's it comes, as the rain will drip down, it'll come down the coax and come to the end and then drip down and exit the car not inside the vehicle itself. So this is a really good practice to do, a drip loop, gotta do that. And then once it comes back up, then you can go inside the vehicle and nothing, nothing happens. All right, once we get inside the vehicle, this particular vehicle is a, uh, our Toyota RAV. So it has the seats that fold down, which makes it really, really nice when you're doing an installation. So bring your cable around. What's nice also about the RAV is it has this bar that, you know, you. You cover up your packages or whatever, I guess during Christmas time. But anyway, it's kind of a, a cover that latches to the back. We leave it on here. We don't use it, but we leave it on here. But if we come across the top of it with our cable, it'll go between this bar 
and the seat. See, there's a little gap here, and that kind of holds your cable for you in place. It's kind of an automatic <laughs> hold down in this particular vehicle. Now yours again may be a little different. That's okay. But we're just gonna tuck it down on the side of the seat here. Lift the seat up, continue to tuck it down the side right here. One other thing that's really nice about this vehicle here is it has the, the drop-in floor mats. And these come in very handy when you're trying to run cables because you can hide them easier that way. And uh, tuck it back in there. And make sure that it comes across up under the seats, just like so. Set it back down. Comes out the side right here, ready to go up front. Now, as far as the radio goes, we've already shown you the cup holder mount has the jaws that go out and in when you adjust this uh, right here. And there's nothing to it. The bracket fits on the radio and you just put it inside your cup holder. I've already kind of positioned it how I want it in the vehicle. So about right there is gonna be good. And then I'm just gonna tighten it up to where the jaws go out and it uh, stays real nice and secure right there. Yeah, that's not going nowhere. And then I can take my antenna line, plug it right in. And then once I do that, my power cable is the only thing left. And what I've done here, since it's such a long power cable, remember I was telling you earlier that I had to buy this part to connect to the uh, power cable itself because it, uh, it, it didn't have this type end on here. So what I did is I just put a tie wrap around that so I can just plug the radio in and take this <laughs> wad of a power cable and I can do the same thing as I did with the coax, stuff it between there to where it's all out of the way, tucked away. And all I got to do is reach over here and plug it in to the 12 volt cigarette lighter. And there you go, already on. Let's test it out. KJ5 DHQ. KJ5 DHQ, looking for a radio check. Let's see if we can get out. K8 BWK, you're hitting the system. All right, there you have it. Simple install that you can do in uh, just a matter of moments to get something going in the vehicle without drilling any holes, messing the vehicle up at all. You could also take it out just as easy as you put it in, maybe even easier because you're not, uh, you're not being so neat about putting everything in. But uh, yeah, simple install that uh, you can do in just a matter of moments. Hey, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We'd appreciate that so very much. Put some comments down below as well. We'll see you in the next video.